hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is anna and you guys can you tell what video we are gonna do today you guys have been requesting this video for a while and i'm so sorry that i haven't been able to get this up for you but let me kind of explain why so the reasoning is is because it's been super cloudy out it's been super rainy and cloudy but today if you guys can tell we have a beautiful clear day where well, you can't even really tell but it is really nice out it is really sunny so i decided you know what these guys have been asking me to do this for so long and I'm so sorry that it has taken me so long to get this up for you guys but today we are going to be doing a tour of how I store and hold my crystals. So if you guys know and have seen some of my previous videos you know that I store the majority of my crystals in my bedroom and the reason being is because I have two cats that are complete troublemakers so they will play with my crystals they will knock them down they'll break them if i keep them around the house so i keep them in my bedroom because i can close the door and you know kind of have it sectioned off so i don't have to worry about them i don't have to worry about them making a mess and breaking them and all that so i keep the majority of them in my room so i'm not gonna mumble too much and let's get right into it so you guys can see how i set up my crystals so i have these beautiful large towers kind of here on my windowsill now i know a lot of people will probably come for me and be like anna why are you keeping your crystals by the windows they lose their color because of the sun and all that but let me tell you guys honestly i've kept a lot of these crystals here for over a year now and let me show you like this one is a beautiful citrine crystal and honestly it has not lost its yellow color i can't really show you too well how this looks but it really has not lost any of its color by sitting at the window and let me kind of tell you the reasoning why i have these on the window here is because number one these guys are massive they are all over six inches so they are pretty tall and i have my plants right here and the reason why i have them here is just because they're heavy they're really tall and i just needed somewhere to store them so i just thought why not and to be honest even though it is a sunny day i don't get a lot of sun towards my window believe it or not so i have like for example this beautiful rose quartz and it has not lost its color at all let me show you guys if i kind of rotate it this is a really heavy crystal if i rotate it this is the side that stands by the window like you see it has not lost its color at all and then i have this beautiful fluorite tower as well i can turn that and another one that has not lost its color at all let me show you guys because it's kind of too sunny to show you there but if i show you here like you see kind of like in a darker space it has not lost its coloring at all it still has the beautiful greens and the purples and the banding and it really has not lost its color so i have my floor right there my rose quartz this is a beautiful dream amethyst another one that just look at this do you see the deep purples it has not lost its coloring at all so as i mentioned i do get sun through this window but not so much to a point where these crystals are going to lose their coloring. They still have beautiful coloring. So again, that's my beautiful citrine. And then I just have another beautiful fluorite piece right here. And as I was picking those up, you guys probably saw this shelf that I have right here. All right, guys. So I guess we'll start from top to bottom. So all the way on the top here, I have a few of my beautiful pink amethyst slabs and this beautiful cloud that I got recently. Stay tuned for that because I will be showing that haul soon on my channel. And then I just have these two beautiful amethyst cluster pieces on each side, as well as the beautiful mala one of my subscribers made. And then on the second shelf, I have this beautiful Sailor Moon piece that I got from an art show that I went to recently. And I'm super obsessed with it. And I just thought, why not? Why not put it with my crystals just somewhere nice and shining? And then on this first kind of built out shelf that I have, I have a lot of my free forms here. So just kind of free forms and some shapes. So I have some labs over here, a carnelian, a rubellite a labradorite a ton of pink amethyst all four of these are pink amethyst because i'm obsessed with pink amethyst and then i have my beautiful mukite free form right there and then i just have some fun shapes i have a sunstone square a larvakite kind of octahedron and then this beautiful antenna that's a swiss opal and then as we go down to the next shelf i decided to just kind of do my mini skull collection so you guys know i recently started getting into skulls so i store my little 
collection here. Again, I don't know if I'm going to get any more. We'll see. I kind of like this little collection. I don't know if I want to go any bigger. So I just decided to put this here with my other spheres and eggs that I have. And then I also have a mini sphere collection, but that's in like a separate little bowl. So starting from left to right, we have a beautiful rose quartz sphere, a beautiful pyrite, a mookite, a blue abatite, a blue calcite, a polychrome egg, a beautiful sunstone egg, a K2 egg, a beautiful lapidolite sphere. I love this sphere. I'm absolutely obsessed with the marbling and how gorgeous it is. And then from here, we have another fluorite. We have a beautiful moonstone. We have a beautiful bloodstone, a jade, a peach moonstone sphere, and this beautiful gold sheen. How gorgeous is that? And then another little beautiful mukite sphere. I absolutely love mukites. And then right here in the middle, we have a small little shungite sphere. So that's my sphere and skull collection. And then as we go down to the next level, I have all of my towers on here. So as you can tell, I do have some space on each of the shelves, but I am kind of running out of room as well. But I do have some space left on all the shelves. So here is my beautiful tower collection. I just got these pink amethysts in and oh my god, they are to die for. I can't wait for you guys to see that haul. That haul is going to go up as soon as I finish editing it, I promise. So going from left to right here, I have a beautiful pink moonstone, a larva kite, a beautiful fuchsite tower, a sunstone tower, an ocean jasper, ocean jasper, ocean jasper, a beautiful polychrome flame, a citrine, a beautiful agate, an ocean jasper, a beautiful mosaic quartz, and a trollite sphere. And then I also have one of my eggs here, just because I feel like it looks better than what it does with the other eggs and spheres on the other shelf. So I have a beautiful green kyanite egg, another pink another pink amethyst, a lepidolite, sodalite, some more beautiful OJs, a strawberry quartz, a purple silk fluorite, a dolly jasper, as well as a beautiful dandritic agate. Then I have a beautiful crackle quartz, a beautiful smoky and aura quartz, some two little baby ocean jaspers, a beautiful gray lithium, as well as a pink lithium point, and then just some smaller points. I have a citrine, a smoky, and two rutilated quartz, just cause why not? So that's my tower collection. That's actually the shelf that I have the most space on. So I might combine it with something else. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. So as we keep going down, and we're on to our second to last shelf. I just decided to put more raw and kind of sparkly pieces on here. This is kind of what I have going on here. So I have my beautiful agate moon. I have some aura quartz clusters, a beautiful spirit quartz, clear quartz cluster, another spirit quartz, another beautiful aura. Just a lot of fun little clusters, a smoky cluster, a citrine. I have another blue calcite piece. A beautiful pink tourmaline piece all the way back here is chrysoprase a beautiful piece of amber some green amethyst some citrine a pyrite cube some grape agates an ammonite some beautiful larimar blue aquamarine some beautiful anhydro agates as well as just some beautiful druzy agates and amethysts I'm just oh I want to say this is kind of my favorite shelf because you guys know that I absolutely love raw crystals and just crystals kind of more of in their natural state. So I really love this shelf out of all the shelves that I have. Well, this and the pink amethyst shelf is definitely like my top two favorite shelves. <laughs> And then on my next shelf, this again is just a very random shelf. I just have some wands, some slabs, some hearts, some bigger palm stones, as well as these two bowls of just a crap ton of random tumbles that I have collected over the past couple years. So there's really no reasoning as to why I decided to break up the crystals that I have. But I just decided that each type of form of crystal deserves its own shelf because I do have enough of them. Like I have a ton of spheres, I have a ton of towers, so I was able to do like its own separate shelf for that. So going from left to right, I have a beautiful flower agate, another lapidolite, a kambaba jasper, a dandritic agate, a mangano calcite heart some beautiful fire hearts, 
a beautiful green amethyst heart which i'm obsessed with and then i have a bigger lab palm i have a bigger in hydro some fire labs a beautiful amethyst heart some more labs right here a polychrome on the left ocean jasper on the right a petrified wood piece on the left ocean jasper on the right a beautiful garnierite piece and these two beautiful fire lab palms and oh guys these are my favorite because the shine and sparkle in them is so nice which of course you can't see now but i promise it does sparkle a lot once the sun hits it right it's just oh so beautiful i am upset so this is my main crystal shelf that I have going here, but then I also did expand to this shelf right here. This is more of my travel shelf. I have a lot of my souvenirs for my travels, but I decided that I need to expand a bit of where my crystals stand. So I'm going to show you guys that as well. So then in this bowl right here, I just have some bigger palm stones as well as kind of just more nicer formed crystals if that makes sense these are more kind of on the higher end and just didn't fit on the five tier shelf that i have because i have it in this humongous bowl so i just have some beautiful palm stones that i love to take with me when i travel and things like that so i just kind of keep them in a separate area because these are actually the crystals that i end up taking with me on my travel so i just have them kind of somewhere separate and then i had just have a little mini selenite and a little amethyst root right next to it the third to last shelf that has more crystals on it. So then I just have some pyramids right here. This is like my little pyramid collection. I kind of keep them close together. So I have a beautiful clear quartz, a rose quartz, a beautiful fluorite, a tree agate, and as well as an ocean jasper pyramid, and just some little minis, a beautiful, another clear quartz, an amethyst, and a beautiful tiger's eye. And then as we come this way, I have two little kind of like coasters as well as little mini bowls here i have a beautiful fluorite bowl and a rose quartz bowl and then right in front of it this beautiful blue agate butterfly how gorgeous is that and then next to that i just have just some more random odd items are these two beautiful pink amethyst stars that i got a while back i just i don't know i didn't really know where to put them they took up kind of a lot of room so i just ended up putting it all on this shelf and then all the way over here is my little kind of critter army slash collection. So these two pieces back here, this elephant and cat, are both beautiful black obsidian pieces with just different stones kind of on the butt of the elephant as well as on the neck of the cat. And then if you guys have seen my Synergy Tribe hauls, you know I love my little critters. So I just have some little more critters right there. And these two just random octohedron shapes that I got way back when just kind of you know hanging out on that shelf and then my last shelf right here i have that beautiful pink amethyst that you saw in a haul previously another beautiful lapidolite piece another beautiful bigger onyx bowl an onyx kind of mixer as well as an abalone shell and that's what i have for these two shelves in my corner of my room so then I do have some items right here kind of on my dresser as well as this dresser that I wanted to show you guys. So I do still have my Halloween pumpkins out. I'm going to put them somewhere. I just don't know where yet. So they're kind of still out here. Then I have this beautiful smoky point. Well, kind of like half polished, half point right out here just because it is so stunning and it's just so pretty like right by the perfume slash makeup area. And then as we go up on my kind of jewelry armoire, I also have just these beautiful amethyst pieces. So these two, both on the left and right hand side, I did a haul of previously for you guys of this beautiful cathedral and this beautiful egg. And then I also just have a beautiful small little pink amethyst cluster that's really druzy and just gorgeous and shines once the sun hits it. And then I just have a bigger amethyst piece in back of it. So this is kind of just like my little amethyst collection. And you guys know I have a lot more amethyst, but I just thought these pieces just looked really nice there. And then moving on on my TV setup, I have my little gang of owls. If you guys know me, I love my owls. So all my owls are kind of just chilling right here on my TV stand. 
I also have this beautiful fluorite one right here. Don't mind the dust, guys. I try to de-dust, but it's like the second you de-dust, more dust gets on there. So that's kind of hard. And then I have these beautiful large. These guys on the left-hand side and the right-hand side are soapstone. And this guy in the middle is a beautiful black calcite owls. So I have that. And then I also have this kind of like mini sphere set right here. So I have a lot of my minis right here kind of on my TV. If this would focus. There we go. Just because, I don't know, they look cute, right? The TV with the owls. I don't know. Just like a nice little setup. So I have those right there. Then let me show you guys what I have by my bedside table. And then these are the crystals that I have by my bedside. So by my bedside, I also do have a little salt lamp block. You know, salt lamps are really good for you. So I have that right by my bedside as well as just these crystals, just like more little mini points and like little tumbles that I really like and enjoy and bring me like a lot of happiness and good luck. So just to name some uh, that I have here, I have rose quartz, I have citrine, I have a pink tourmaline tower, some fluorite towers, a lapidolite tower. Ooh, I also have these beautiful euphora lights. Let me show you guys these because I don't think I've ever done a haul, but I do want to mention these. These beautiful crystals are really great. Ooh, sorry. These crystals are really great for your electronics. Now let me tell you what I mean by that. A lot of electronics emit radiation and like just bad things for you and things that can cause cancer so these beautiful euphora lights help fight that so i don't think i've ever shown these but these are very these are not cheap crystals these are very expensive crystals but they are called euphora lights dropping a pretty penny on these if you do end up buying them so yeah just some more random little towers that i have here some beautiful pink tourmaline some pink opals some also like mini agates some sunstone tiger's eye things like that yep i just have a lot of things like that on here just things that i feel crystals that i feel that help me and have protected me and have done me like a lot of good i keep right by my bedside table so as i mentioned my bed is right here and all these bad boys are right next to me so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this setup i'm so so sorry that it took me so long to get this video up for you guys but i just wanted to make sure that the lighting was good so you guys can really see the beauty of these amazing crystals so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and as always more crystal videos to come bye guys